Hi, welcome back to Scripture Explorers. I'm James. And I'm Aria. And we're the Scripture Explorers. What's wrong, Explorers? You're not playing. No, we're too sad. Why is that? Our mom and dad told us not to play by the special picture of Jesus. They didn't want it to break. But, well, we played by it anyway, and it fell and broke. We told them we did it, and they said it was okay. But we're still sad. Well, I can understand why you're sad. We all get sad when we make mistakes. Everyone? Everyone, even me. Even Abraham. Even Moses. When we last saw Moses, he was bringing the Ten Commandments to the Israelites. He read the commandments to them at the foot of Mount Sinai, and the people made a promise to keep them. The people said, All that the Lord hath said will we do, and be obedient. Heavenly Father actually met with Moses several times on Mount Sinai to give him direction. After the people made their promise, the Lord asked Moses to come up to speak with him again. But first he had an assignment for the people while Moses was gone. God asked the people to build a tabernacle or temple so the Lord could be among them. But they did something else. Uh Uh-oh, what did they do? Instead of building a tabernacle like God asked, the people melted down a bunch of gold jewelry and made a golden calf. Like a cow? Why would they do that? In Old Testament times, it was common for people to worship graven images or statues of animals. The Egyptians worshipped many different gods, some of them with the bodies of men and the heads of different animals. That's just weird. It seems strange to you in your time because of the first two commandments the Lord gave to Moses. Have no other gods before me, and don't make any idols or graven images. We believe that Heavenly Father is the only god we should worship, just like he asked. So why did they make the idol right after they promised not to? It can be hard to learn a different way than what we're used to, and the people were going through an awful lot of changes. The idea that they should only have one God who would speak to them through prophets and through prayer was very new to them. Not only that, but they were out in the wilderness on their own, and Moses was up on the mountain for a very long time. How long was he gone? Forty days and nights. Yikes! That is a long time. So it's understandable that the people, after so long on their own, went back to something they were familiar with. The same can be said of us sometimes. I've never made a cow statue. (laughs) No, but we're all here on earth trying to learn how to follow God and become better people. And sometimes, even after we've done really well for a long time, we can make mistakes and revert back to the bad behavior we used to do. Still, Moses was very disappointed when he finally came back down the mountain and saw what the people had done. Did he get mad at them? He did. Moses was carrying the stone tablets upon which were written God's commandments for the people. But when he saw the Israelites sinning and worshipping the golden calf, he threw down the stone tablets and they broke. Oh no! God was even more angry about the promises the people had broken. The proof of their broken covenant was in the shattered tablet pieces scattered on the ground. Can you imagine how they must have felt? I can imagine it. In that moment, they must have felt like God would never forgive them. But that's not the end of the story. It's not? No. Moses had to plead on behalf of the people, and they had to humble themselves to repent, too. But eventually, Heavenly Father forgave them, and he gave Moses a new set of stone tablets. There were no more cracks or broken pieces. The tablets were whole, just like we can be whole through the atonement. Really? Of course. We can always be made whole through the Savior. Jesus pleads for us just as Moses pled for his people. The Israelites still had a lot to learn, just like we do. But the Lord didn't give up on them, and he never gives up on us. If they could fix things, maybe we can too. Of course you can.